So we decided we want to go shoot long range. We already know the gun that we have because we already bought it. We already have our glass. We already have our reticles picked out. We have everything we need. Now it's time to select our ammo. There's a ton of different ammunition types, manufacturers, different bullet weights, different bullet styles uh, that are available to all of us now. You really need to decide what you want your bullet to do. If you're gonna be hunting, especially long range hunting, you need a bullet that's gonna have good effect on target once it gets to the target. We need it to have consistent opening. We want it to mushroom out cleanly. And we also don't want it to shed a lot of weight as it travels through the animal that we're shooting. If we're shooting competition, we need extremely consistent ammo with very, very consistent bullet weights. Really kind of the best thing you can do for high level competition shooting is to hand load your own because that's the only way you're gonna be able to guarantee that very, very consistent ammunition. When we're talking about accuracy, consistency is king. Everything needs to be shaped exactly the same. It needs to weigh the same. We need to have the same charges, even down to the primers that we use. We want the same amount of priming compound inside of that primer. We want the same amount of internal case volume. We want the same amount of neck tension from our brass to our bullet. That is all going to affect how big or small our groups are. Some factory ammo options out there are very, very good as well. Uh, not necessarily hand loading level. Well, I take that back. Uh, a lot of the stuff that Hornady makes is actually, I don't load 6.5 Creed anymore because the Hornady match ammo is just as good as anything I can load. It's absolutely insane. I've been really impressed with the 6.5 PRC that I've been shooting from them. They're very, very consistent when it comes to their match ammo. Now this is specifically their match ammo and their ELDM bullets. Their ELDM bullets are very consistent as far as the shape and weight goes. Um, very consistent charges. It gives me everything I need to shoot accurately. Now we need to make sure that we run this ammo through our guns because when we run it through the guns we're going to tell if our gun likes it or not. What we're talking about is when is that bullet exiting the barrel in the barrel's whip. So every time we shoot the barrel is actually moving and whipping. We want the bullet to exit the muzzle at the peak of that whip. If it exits the muzzle while it's either rising or dropping then we're gonna see our groups open up. That's gonna be less accurate and less consistent. As long as it exits the muzzle at the same point every time, which is usually at the peak, that's where we're gonna get key accuracy. And we can figure out if our gun likes certain ammos and certain loads by doing things like ladder drills, and you'll learn more about those later. So ammo selection is very, very important. We want to make sure we have nice slippery bullets, so something with a very high BC. It retains its velocity downrange better and also helps to buck the wind. We want to make sure we have good velocities with centerfire ammo. Um, generally, faster works out great. Uh, with rimfire ammo, faster isn't necessarily always better, and we'll get to that when we get more into our rimfire stuff. I like to shoot uh, subsonic ammunition through my rim fires because then I don't have to worry about the bullet going through that transonic barrier. Uh, depending on what we're shooting again, like 308 or like the 6.5 PRC, my transonic barrier is going to be very different between these bullets. With my 308, it's going to be around the 700 yard range, depending on my atmospherics. And with my 6.5 PRC, I'm well over a thousand before it starts dropping subsonic. So again, it all depends on application. Make sure you have the right bullet type, the right bullet weight, and very consistent loads to ensure that you have the most accurate system possible. For more information on this, please feel far or feel free to follow along and learn everything you want to know about long range shooting.